In this lecture, let's see one scenario where we can use embedded documents for creating one to many relationship between two collections. Let's say we have a customer collection. In the customer collection, we are storing all the customers. And each customer is going to have a payment method. For example, a customer can add different cards for doing the payment. Let's say customer 1 has added three payment methods. Basically, he has added three cards in the payment details using which he can make the purchase. And customer 2 has added only one payment method. He has added only one card through which he can make a purchase. So this is an example of one to many relationship. One customer can have multiple payment methods. But two customers cannot have the same payment method. Okay, so this is one example of one to many relationship. One customer can have many payment methods. And this is one such scenario where we can use embedded documents for creating this one to many relation. Why? Because a customer is not going to have a lot of payment methods. A customer can have maximum 10 or 15 payment methods. He can add 10 or 15 cards. He is not going to add 100 or 1000 cards for making the payment. When creating one to many relation using embedded document, we need to keep in mind that the overall document size cannot exceed 16 MB. For example, in this document, we have an embedded document. So no matter how many embedded documents we have in a outer document, in the main document, the size of the main document cannot exceed 16 MB. So when we are creating one to many relationship using embedded documents, we need to keep in mind that our overall document size does not exceed 16 MB. And since one customer is not going to have too many payment methods, here we can use embedded documents for creating one to many relationship. In the next lecture, we will see another scenario where we cannot use embedded documents for creating one to many relationship. There, we need to use references. But here, let's go ahead and let's implement this relationship between the customer and the payment method. So here, I'm going to update these two documents and for both of these documents, I'm going to add a payment method. And that payment method is going to store an array and in that array, we are going to have multiple payment documents. So here let's say db dot customer which is the collection name dot update one. And first I'm going to update the first document where the name is John. So for the filter I will specify name as John. Let's also use a set of parentheses. Then let's specify another set of curly braces. Inside that let's use the dollar set operator. And to this dollar set operator let's assign another document. And in this document, let's create a field. I'm going to call it payment method. And this payment method is going to store an array. Inside that array, we can have multiple documents. So here I'm adding first document. Here I will say card number. So this card number is the field. To this, I will assign a numeric value, maybe 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so a 16 digit card number then let's also add expiry date so i will simply call this field as expiry and to this i will assign a string value for now and here i will specify the month and the year so this is the first card which this customer john has added for the payment now let's go ahead and let's add one more payment method here one more card again for that i'll use a set of curly braces and here again, I'm going to have this card number field. To this, I'm going to assign a 16 digit number and also the expiry date. So the field name is expiry. To this, I'm going to assign a string. Here, let's say month is May and year is 2027. All right, let's go ahead and let's run this command. So one document has been modified. Let's go ahead and let's do the same thing for the second customer. So for the mark also. And for mark, I'm going to add only one payment method. First, let's filter this document by its name. And there, we are going to add this payment method. And here, I'm only going to add one payment method for this customer mark. So let's set the card number to some random 16-digit number. 
and let's also set the expiry date maybe June of 2024 let's go ahead and let's press enter so the second document has also been modified let's go ahead and let's query the customer collection using this find method on this customer collection so now you can see both the customers has this payment method for the first customer for this customer John he has added two payment methods he has added two card details and for the second customer we have only one payment method only one card detail and as I mentioned earlier here using embedded document is okay because a customer is not going to have too many payment methods he would add maximum 10 to 15 card details for making the purchase from our application he is not going to add hundreds or thousand card details which can actually make the size of the document exceed more than 16 MB here the customer is going to add maximum 10 to 15 payment methods and that would not affect the maximum size limit of a document and that's why this is one scenario where we can use embedded documents for one to many relationship this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day